Question 11. How should I format my geocoder queries to maximize the number of successful requests? Answer. The geocoder is designed to map street addresses to geographical coordinates. We therefore recommend that you format geocoder requests in accordance with the following guidelines to maximize the likelihood of a successful query. Specify addresses in accordance with the format used by the National Postal Service of the country concerned. Do not specify additional address elements such as business names, unit numbers, floor numbers or sweet numbers that are not included in the address as defined by the postal service of the country concerned. Doing so may result in responses with zero underscore results. Use the street number of a premise in preference to the building name where possible. Use street number addressing in preference to specifying cross streets where possible. Do not provide hints such as nearby landmarks. Question 12. What are the limits on the size and complexity of KML that can be displayed using the player class of the Google Maps JavaScript API? Answer. The size and complexity limits on the display of KML using the KML layer class. Question 13. Can I access the maps and satellite images directly? Answer. You may not access the maps or satellite images through any mechanism besides the Google Maps APIs, such as the creation of your own mapping API or the use of a bulk tile download script. Your application's access to the tiles will be blocked if it accesses them outside of the Google Maps APIs. Question 14. Which Google Maps APIs have usage limits? Answer. Google Maps APIs are free for a wide variety of use cases with complementary usage limits and predictable overage pricing for use of the standard APIs and annual contracts available for enterprise deployments. The following APIs do not have usage limits. Google Maps Android API. Google Maps SDK for iOS. Google Maps Embed API. Usage limits apply to the following Maps APIs. Click the API to View its usage limits details. Google Maps JavaScript API, Google Static Maps API, Google Street View Image API, Google Maps Directions API, Google Maps Distance Matrix API, Google Maps Elevation API, Google Maps Geocoding API, Google Maps Geolocation API, Google Maps Roads API, Google Maps Time Zone API. Question 15. How can I opt out of including my content in Google search results? Answer. We are no longer collecting this data. The use of the indexing parameter has been deprecated and has no effect. You no longer need to opt out explicitly, but we encourage you to remove this parameter at your earliest convenience. Question 16. Can I use screenshots of a Google Maps APIS application in printed materials or offline media? Answer. Use of Google Maps imagery in printed materials and offline media is subject to the permission guidelines published at http colon slash slash www.google.com slash permissions slash geoguidelines dot html. Question 17. Can I use the Google Maps app is on a site that is password protected? Answer. Yes, you can. Though you should consult the Google Maps API's terms of service before using the Google Maps API's on a password protected website. If consumers can easily sign up for a password without charge or if the purpose of the password protected map is to enhance the publicly available map e administration, then your site is likely within the Google Maps API's terms of service. Question 18. Can I use Google Maps in my non-web application? Answer. Yes, the Google Maps APIs can now be used in desktop applications, provided that they adhere to the other restrictions of the Google Maps APIs terms of service. Note that in order for a desktop application to be deemed publicly accessible, there must be a publicly accessible web page from which it can be downloaded. Question 19. How are map loads applied against the usage limits for Google Maps apps for web? Answer. A single map load is charged when any of the following occur. A web page or application displays a map using the Google Maps JavaScript API. A web page or application displays a Google Street View Image API panorama using the Google Maps JavaScript API. If a Street View panorama replaces a map in the same development, the panorama is not charged. An application requests a single map image from from the Google Static Maps API. An application requests a single panorama image from the Google Street View Image API. After a web page or application loads a map, a static map image or a street view panorama, any user interactions with it, such as panning, zooming, or switching map layers, do not generate additional map loads or affect usage limits. 
Question 20. What is the maximum number of markers or path vertices supported by the Google Static Maps API? Answer. There is no limit to the number of markers or path vertices supported by the Google Static Maps API. When using custom icons, up to 5 unique icons can be specified per request but each can be used multiple times within the map. Note that Google Static Maps API URLs can contain a maximum of approximately 2000 characters which constrains the number of markers and path vertices that can be specified based on the number of decimal places used when specifying each latitude slash longitude pair.